In this video, I would like to go ahead and talk a little bit about the nuances of when it comes to building your own Mercedes. And um, you would think it's pretty straightforward, uh, just like you would uh, check out to uh, buy an iPhone or something, but it's a little bit more than that. Um, and uh, there's some of the things that I would like to talk in retrospective and reflect on, uh, on the vehicle that uh, when I was building my uh, GLE um, 53 version and there was a 63 version of coming up and uh, in retrospective, I would probably get a 63 version over 53 because there's some things that 63 um, offers more and has already included in the price, um, in, a found, in the fundamental price of this base price, a um, lot more than the, what 53 has. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and you go with the GLE version because the um, GLE Coupe version because the, um, the regular SUV uh, the wagon doesn't have the 63 version because it's 22 22 model um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's let's go with, with this one. Oh, hold on i'm just gonna open this and uh, here a new tab and well, you can see the price comparison is already a forty thousand dollar difference and you would think that off the bat that the difference is only in the engine and uh, and it's very much not so um so the forty thousand difference here um, is more than just the uh, the engine performance of the car itself, but actually there's um, there's some of the interior parts and components um, in the car that uh, already pre built in 63 or become available to you at a much cheaper price in the 63 version versus the 53 version. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and build like two different cars for comparison and see at the end how we're gonna play out in the price. Um, of the bat, the 53 version, you can see how all of the colors are gonna, well, majority of the colors, uh, quality colors, gonna cost you a little bit of uh, $720 uh, to 1550 and uh, the one in the 1080 cost. And uh, in the 63S version, uh, that's top of the line, uh, you get all of this color, majority of the colors you get for free. And uh, as you can see, um, if we're gonna go that we're gonna basically the, the, the price is already pre-built there so we're gonna go with emerald green that's gonna cost us nothing in the 63 and gonna seven it's gonna cost us 720 in 53 version same with wheels um uh if we want to go with uh the best wheels uh, they have to offer um the 22 matte black uh, by the way if you're gonna building a 22 matte black i strongly suggest you ride this car because it doesn't have a lot of cushion, so it's gonna feel pretty tight and might feel like bumpy because it's like a racy, gonna feel like, feel like a race car. Um, comparing to uh, like 21 inch, um, it's, a, it's a difference that's worth trying out for sure. Um, so, uh, because, because I have 21 inch, uh, I have these wheels and they sometimes they do feel a little rough and this is intentional, I didn't wanna go for the 20, 22 inches. And I was happy about that choice. But they look better, of course. Um, okay, 2022 20, inch is gonna cost us 3200, 3250 in the 53 version, and uh, let's go with the 63 version. Uh, that's gonna cost us only two thousand dollars. And also notice the calipers are red here, and uh, with the brake pads, they're large uh, pro calipers uh, that really help with uh, stopping the car, an emergency brake or uh, just regular brake uh, because it's a powerful car, and in the 53 version there you don't get the, no red calipers you don't get regular good large size quality calipers you get just regular calipers and this is something that i had pre-built and i wasn't super happy um, with how the the car was performing and operating um, and at braking um, so this is something that also we'll talk a little bit later um, so we're going to build the okay so we have a night package um, there's the running boards it's going to be the same price uh, okay, we're gonna have to add the night package. I'm gonna say it's gonna cost us the same. Okay, um, now let's move on into the interior section in the 53 version. Um, you can see, as you as we, talk, as we saw previously, um, all of the features are extras and they're gonna cost you a pretty penny. And if you wanna go with a black exclusive exclusive Napa leather, um, because you wanna be buying a nice car, you wanna get some nice leather. Um, uh, by the way, this is, <laughs> we can talk a little more about this leather. Um, I mean, even though it's, they say it's black exclusive Napa leather, 
Uh, there are some quality concerns that I have personally in this car and it doesn't look as shiny, pretty after first use. So I don't know, maybe just maybe go with this one. Uh, but it looks like the side lines are still the same. So this is where the areas are pretty, have large weaknesses. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't super happy about the leather quality that Mercedes is putting in these cars. Uh, but anyways, let's go with the 4550 version. Um, that's gonna cost us a premium. And uh, okay, and it's cost us nothing in the 63 version. And even if you wanna get this top of the line, you can see that uh, the black with marble letter that is 53 has for 4,800,000, I'm sorry, for 4,800, um, we're only paying that difference principally by adding $250. Um, okay, so we're gonna stick with the same same uh, leather and we're not paying anything because it's already pre-built in the price difference, um, as we said earlier. Uh, let's go with Metal Eve. You can see the trim is also a little more affordable here. Um, uh, metal weave 600 and uh, it's it's a very this is the least amount of difference that I noticed um, in the trim is gonna cost you 440 um, versus 600 K okay, so we have it consistent same car okay um, not much to be added here okay we're not gonna add this because they're they're the same options in the interior for the wheels and everything. Okay, um, options now, warmth, comfort package, air balance, energizing package, let's get it all in because, okay, oh, I think the energizing package has the air package. Okay, so we're gonna get that. Let's get the pack energizing package, of course you want that. Um, and notice in the 53 version, the energizing package plus is gonna cost you 2,100. Energizing package plus in the 63 model is gonna cost you only 1,650 that's a difference and the warmth comfort package is going to be the same in price um, all right um, everything else I think is going to be consistent with the heated oh the 53 do they allow you to do heated okay um, okay um, let's do Okay, interior assistant, I think that's gonna cost the same. Um, soft close is gonna cost the same. And I can add, uh, by the way, if you're building a car, I would strongly suggest to do soft close. This is one of the really cool features that you wanna have in the car. Um, the sound is already pretty good in these cars. I wouldn't, I wouldn't add that 3D surround system sound unless you're really a sound fan. Um, Fozone, like all of this cost, okay, so all of this cost is gonna run the same in price. But now let's scroll down to performance and safety. Now you want to add the driver assistance plus package. It's definitely a must have. Um, and also there's AMG dynamic plus package and we, there's a roll stabilization, uh, something that you want to look into, uh, something that I missed when I was building a car and something that I tried to save money when ordering a car. And actually there's, uh, there's something that you've been, you missed out if you're gonna not include that one, or all stabilization and the right control. Um, so there's more to that. So that's gonna cost you 5,200. And there's no option of this in the 63 version because it's already included. Um, so now, of course, AMG performance exhaust system, you wanna add that in the, in the 53 version because this is, this is actually the 63, yeah, this is uh, basically a 63 version exhaust. Uh, they don't give an option here because it's already included. Uh, and so is AMG, speed, AMG drive unit and everything. Um, and oh, and also, um, yes, we talked about calipers in the very beginning. So we're gonna have to add them. Oh no, they already included in the AMG dynamic plus, right? Okay. Yeah, okay, red calipers. So this is the ones that you get um, for free in the 63S, or not for free, but like it's already pre-built in the price, and the base price, but you're gonna have to pay that much um, in the um, 53 version. So uh, let's go to the summary. We got to the end. So 63S, um, I would say pretty a pretty packed, 
a pretty packed car like in terms of like uh, all of the must have um, there's a couple of small price tags here and there that's not gonna drive the price crazy but um, I try to add the all of the essential features that you would want to have in this car um, so the difference in the engine in the performance of the car is actually comes down to 25 26 thousand uh, dollars between 53 and 63 version um, so that's basically the uh, from, from from that cal calculation cost that's basically the difference that you're paying for this extra horsepower sound the crazy sound the 63s has um, like top of the line uh, car that will make you drive super happy and be happy on the road when you drive them when you, even when you start the car uh, ride a car anywhere you go um, so this is kind of like <laughs> the price that you're paying for the extra 25 to 26 thousand um, dollars now that's different from the so from the initial forty thousand dollar difference that you see if you're choosing the cars, um, and maybe you can negotiate it even lower. Um, I mean, it's tougher to do it now in the with the shortage and everything, but something to consider. So, anyways, I thought you find this helpful. Uh, this is, I'll definitely uh, if I'm gonna be buying in the in the future, I'll definitely go with the sixty three version um, and not even look at fifty three because um, that's not. Too much of a difference if you're getting that level of the car uh, and you're already um, getting all of the quality stuff in. Um, I think that's all. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the comment and uh, let me know if you have any additional thoughts, comments, questions. I'm happy to do another review on other builds and uh, how to get the best of your build, your own car. Um, yeah, and uh, subscribe if you want to like watch more content like that. Uh, thank you. Uh, bye bye, everyone.